So there we were. Start of a match. Everybody loaded up, shielded up. We were getting ready to do one of the best games of our life. Or the worst. We weren't really sure yet. I'm MT Helicon 2077, leader of Bots Clan. This here is my partner in crime and cohort, Bots Ares. Mm -hmm. How's it going? So we play Call of Duty a lot. Every night we do practice. Yeah. Well, almost every night. Almost every night. Yeah. There's a few things that we need to discuss. First of all, let's talk about clan play. And how do we deal with the toxicity, uh, gameplay, strategies, tactics... Well, I'm a, I'm, you know, how I play, so I'm a running gun player, because I mainly played, uh, Team Deathmatch half my life with Call of Duty. But you, on the other hand, you're a little bit more sneaky, trying to go a little bit slow. You try to, you try to make sure you don't get killed, just so you can hide and sneak up right behind <laughs> And always do the shh, that's always one of the... Yep. And you try to listen in to everybody. Make sure, especially if one of us is the last player, you always try to hear out for us. I don't know how. It's like it's kind of like Malcross with uh, Malcross with his like those lightning quick sniper shots. He can see things yeah. that I can't see, but there's things that I can hear that other people for some reason that just passes them by. Well, uh, yeah. Bad hearing, so. <laughs> I do prefer. Uh, the challenge of using our strategies and our tactics, of which we've been honing and harnessing for a good nine months now, uh, ever since we all started this on Cold War. And be honest, I have gotten a lot better since I've joined Boss Clan with at least searching and score. I've gotten a little bit more. I've changed uh, my tactics. I've updated my play pretty much. I've do you a bit more caution? Do you find that you get like, what is like the differences in your play style when it comes to TDM versus S and D, or even TDM. like prop hunt or something like that? You know. Well, TDM, it's I'm more of a demon on TDM because I know I'm gonna just respawn back, pretty much. So I'm like, okay, if I die, I die. But in Search of Joy, I have to play a little bit more calmly and not like rush in, rush. I gotta go in a rush, but I also have to keep myself back from where I don't get killed as quick. The thing I like about Search and Destroy for us personally is that that one shot, you know, one shot kill is to me it's realistic. Uh, yeah. uh, it's just not realistic when you have to dump an entire clip into somebody to down them. That's why we don't play the core modes. Uh, to me, I'm sorry. I just find them boring, man. They're just boring. I I started. Uh, I I never really did core. I always did hardcore. So like, my first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2, the original. Well, not the original, but you know, what I mean, I always played uh, hardcore team deathmatch. Uh, kill confirm. I used to like those modes. But. Like I said, ever since I started playing with y'all, uh, I've gone to the point where I actually like Search and Destroy. I love it. Yeah. I love it. The chance to the chance to use the tactics and strategies that we've accumulated over uh, over the last nine months. Like one of the things that we've done that I'm not sure if every other clan maybe does is we have designated rooms for designated things in the game, like. Our maps channel. We put the strat uh, strategic overlay maps into one channel so that people can uh, review them and study them. Uh, having some military experience, I try to run the crew with much of the same principles and disciplines that we had to learn for basic combat. Now, when it comes to us playing other clans... I have personally found 
that we knuckle up faster. We just come together quicker. It's just we we know each other's movements. We watch each other. We play we play with each other almost every night. So I mean, there's a familiarity with it. To be honest, we do need to start playing uh, the newer Call of Duty, just so if we ever get like a Vanguard, you know, clan trying to go up against us, we know what we're doing. And I understand that you don't really like Vanguard that much because of the historical accuracy. I understand that, but we do need to start trying to at least. It's not, you know, I, I'm starting to get over the historical inaccuracies things, the the, 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 the sometimes just straight up loco stuff that they have in there, remote control, mini yeah. tanks in a, in a World War II game, some of the skins, and honestly with, with I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not going to pay 60 something dollars for a game that if I don't like it, I can't return it, I can't get it, I can't get my money back, or at least... I can't even take it to a pawn shop and get half the money back because nobody's playing it. Nobody likes it. It's yeah. a horrible game from the reviews that I've seen, from the other streamers that I've watched play it. Yeah. It's To me, it's everybody's moving at 6,000 miles per hour. It's yeah. uh, it, it's well, just a total uh, mess to me. To me, uh, personally. That's, that's why I like the fact that they're from Modern Warfare 2, that they're releasing a new one next year. I got I high hopes, hopes they're for they're that one. A year off. I'm glad they're taking a year off to actually make sure they get the game hopefully right, which that's a hopefully, but it's not like a guarantee for them. Because to be honest, Activision has been kind of, you know. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Sorry, Activision. <laughs> Well, hey, truth is truth. It doesn't seem like Activision really cares about what the players want. It's it's they're, yeah. they're, they're the microtransactions and the skins and but there's no real but there's like no real reward. We're not getting rewarded for our gameplay. It, yeah. it seems and almost like we're being punished. I think the last good uh, Call of Duty was Naughty. It, well, to be honest, 2019 Modern Warfare wasn't as bad, but I think the best. Like one before that would be, or yeah, before that would be uh, Black Ops 2, Marvel Warfare 3. I think those are the best ones that they have made besides the original ones, really, because they actually cared about the, you know, the gamers. They actually cared. Mhm. Mm this is true. I think they need to put more of that love back in for the game that they used to have for the players. I was just watching the footage and I got ran over by a train. That's very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Some of the things that I think they could do with Call of Duty are just all of the modes, uh, the, the domination and the the kill confirmed, are all just variations on TDM, another form of TDM, and it just gets so boring so quickly. Let's talk Modern Warfare uh, Warzone for a minute. We've been playing that a lot recently. Yeah. We have actually been playing that a lot lately. One of the things that I don't like is the fact that they don't have a hardcore mode. Which to yeah. me would make the game way, way more interesting. Way more interesting. When you, when you know you can take ten rounds and hide behind a rock and get away... It doesn't mean as much as if you take one shot, you're down. That's mm -hmm. one shot, one kill. That you know, don't even call it hardcore. Call it one shot, one kill. Uh, with Call of Duty Cold War and Modern Warfare, I think they could have put in uh, like a predator mode, where you become the guy with the highest player becomes the most hunted. Once you kill the highest, the highest killered player, you become the hunter every and and you have to go as long as you can to the end of the game and either kill the hunted hunters or mm -hmm. survive but every time you die you become the hunted that there that's just one variation i thought you know, of that, that would kinda, that kind of reminds me of uh infected off cold war to be honest that kind of sounds like something off cold war which infected I, I'm not a zombies guy. I know, I know, I know. I just, I just can't get into them. Zombies to me have been just so overplayed. Here's the thing: that you know what they should have done with infected? They should have put it actually in the zombies category and not put it in the multiplayer. 
I don't have that? enough. I don't know. I don't play it enough to even be able to. So, all right. This has been video one of uh, what we're going to be starting as a series called A Clan Perspective. Um, we're going to be reviewing different games, different scenarios, different settings. Uh, so here we are, uh, empty helicon and Ares. Good. Uh, we're both live on trip a lot, so come visit us. That's right. All right, everybody, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. And tune in for the next one, which might be today, might be tomorrow. Peace, everyone. Peace out, Later.